let's say we have two numbers two three digit numbers let's say 742 and 427 it's quite evident that in both the numbers the digits are the same digits are two four or seven which are arranged differently usually what we do is that when we have similar digits but different numbers formed out of them we try to compare those numbers and this is basically what we do in shifting numbers our objective is to compare these numbers so which of these numbers is larger so let's see how we can do this let's read out 742 it's 742 quite clearly this number has seven hundreds so I, I can write seven times hundred plus since it's 42 we can write four times ten because it has four tens and then two what about 427 it has four hundreds plus two tens and then it has a seven now if we want to compare between these two because 742 has seven hundreds we want to see how many hundreds both the numbers have it's quite evident that 742 is larger because it has seven hundreds and 427 has only four hundreds we don't even have to look at other digits and that's how we can find out which number is larger but what if we use the same digits but arrange them in a way that it's like 427 and 472 now because both the numbers have 400s how are we going to find out which number is larger if we look at the breakdown again so we have 400s for 427 then we have two tens and seven ones for 472 again we have 400s we have seven tens and two since both the numbers have 400s we have to look at tens because tens are greater than ones we obviously have to look at tens and because 427 has two tens but 472 has seven tens so it's quite clear that 427 is less than 472 and this is how we can compare numbers when the digits are being shifted usually in shifting numbers there are problems wherein questions are asked by giving a number say like this 529 and we have to find out the smallest number that can be formed using the given digits and the largest number that can be formed using the given digits since this is a three digit number some number will go and multiply 100 so in a given number there would be 500 plus there would be some tens and some ones now every combination of digits will form different numbers so such as in this case we have given we have been given with 529 we can also write a number 295 using the same digits or 592 or rather 259 it could be anything now which number should i multiply with 100 so that out of the possibility of numbers the number formed will be the smallest so i'll choose the smallest number to multiply 100 so that i can form the smallest number the smallest digit out of the given digits is 2 so definitely i'll multiply 100 with 2 but there are two choices now with 2 at the start i can either write 259 or 295 which number should i multiply by 10 or keep at the tenths place so that the number is the smallest the answer is next smallest number because i want to minimize the number of tens i have so after 2 5 is the next smallest and i'll multiply the tens with 5 then and in the units place i'll keep the largest number so the smallest number i can get out of the given digits is 259 so this is the smallest number that i can create out of the given digits now my objective is to find out the largest number that i can find using the given digits now i want to maximize the number of hundreds that i have and that's why i will choose 9 to be multiplied by 100 
then I will maximize the number of tens I have. So I will find out the next largest number, which is again five and the smallest number will go in the units place, which is two. So that is 952, which is the largest number. And this is how we can find the largest or the smallest numbers. Imagine if we had zero in between, say if we had 502. So in this case, if we wanted to create the smallest three digit number with the logic that we just discussed, we will be tempted to use zero, which is the smallest number and minimize the hundreds and then write the next smallest two times tens plus five, which will just be 25. And that won't be a three digit number. So when you encounter zero in the given digits, you have to make sure you do not put zero in place of the hundreds here because it will not be a three digit number. So what is the turnaround? We don't put zero at the hundreds place here. We just want to put zero at the tens place. So barring zero, we have two as the smallest number. So we'll minimize hundreds by putting two there plus zero times tens plus five. That is the smallest three digit number that we can find, which is 205. Remember, smallest number that still can be made using the digits 5, 0 and 2 is still 25. But smallest three digit number that we can find here is 205. I'll encourage you to find out and create smallest or the greatest numbers by taking any four digits or five digits now and play around with shifting numbers.